Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Brian from the home physical therapist.com. And I just wanted to go over uh, something that I had just written about. This is in regard to a um, to walker accessories, something that you can add to your front wheel walkers. Right now I'm sharing the screen and I can see I can hopefully you can see uh, my recent blog post here you can see what date it was uh, it was posted right there and you see a, a comical picture here with uh, a person sitting on a subway it looks like they have uh, a walker with two tennis balls deflated tennis balls there and the whole article basically is uh, is telling you why why you should avoid trying to use tennis balls on your front wheel walker they just don't work anymore. Uh, back in the day, they were used in facilities like hospitals or nursing homes to cut down on the noise and cut down on the vibration that the rubber, uh, the rubber tips that are standard on most walkers would cause. They would, because of the rubber and because of the linoleum on the floor, uh, the rubber would vibrate uh, as the person pushed it across the floor and it would make a god awful noise and so what therapists had to do is figure out a way to cut down on the noise but also make the ride a lot smoother uh, for the person using the walker and so what they did is they ended up cutting holes in tennis balls and and putting them on the back legs of the walker now that was a good idea if you stayed in a facility if you were walking on tile or linoleum, that was fine because on a hard, smooth surface, the tennis balls just slipped right along. However, once you started going outside, uh, whether it was across the driveway or across the sidewalk, what would happen is, is the concrete would, would basically grind right down through the tennis balls and then down into the walker. And if you weren't really paying attention, if you just kept using your walker in these types of sur surfaces, you'd find out that the the aluminum legs would also be ground down. And then that would make a lot more noise either on linoleum or wreak havoc on uh, things like hardwood floors or um, or even some vinyl tiles. So what they did, what the manufacturers did is they started making uh, your walkers with these plastic caps on the uh, on the tips of the of the legs of the walker. So they replaced the rubber with plastic caps and those do work well. However, they just don't work and last as long. So what I recommend people do is buy these things that uh, are called walker glides or walker ski glides and you can get them anywhere you can get them online at pharmacy stores or or um, you could even get them at medical supplies but i don't recommend that simply because they cost an arm and a leg at a medical supply generally if you buy them online or you buy them at a local pharmacy they'll, they'll cost you under 10 bucks and uh, you just basically just pop the cap off of the of the rear legs of the walker and slide the the skis on and what it looks like this is a, a picture of what they look like on on both of the walker legs and then down here you can see how the walker the ski the ski glides will slide over the carpet they'll slide over hardwood and give you a nice smooth safe ride now where can you get these things uh, basically I tell everybody to go to Amazon if you're using a a front wheel walker like this a typical folding walker uh, what I would do is I would recommend somebody just type in at Amazon type in walker glides now you don't have to buy them from Amazon but Amazon will show you uh, the various types of walker glides that are available and they'll give you the price for them so you know whether or not you're being gouged or whether or not you're overpaying. And you see some some down here, like multi-terrain uh, walker glides. They also have some that look like little tennis shoes also somewhere. But I would definitely not get the, uh, there, there are the tennis shoes right there. Uh, and they're made of the hard plastic or nylon also. But I would definitely stay away from the tennis balls. I would definitely um, stay away from the, the rubber uh, 
the rubber walker tips because basically um, they're not going to give you as smooth a ride as the as the walker glides or the the little skis so i just wanted to show people what i was talking about sometimes it, when you're writing a blog post you're not able to get the point across it's better if you have a video and you're able to look and see what people are doing there uh people what people are talking about and here i've given you some uh, some suggestions of where to find them and even what types you can get and basically they're all universal um you might run into some problems with with um with a certain brand but generally uh, you see here drive medical drive medical makes a lot of walkers also this is let's see who makes this walker this walker right here is from drive medical so since this walker is made by drive medical it should <clears throat> accommodate these skis right here who who which are also made by Drive Medical. And what you can do is just make sure you could take a look at your walker, whether it's made by Medline, whether it's made by Invacare or somebody else, you can see whether or not you can find some walkers that are, um, not walkers, but uh, ski glides that are made by the same company. So uh, keep tuning in to this blog and uh, you can also check out my YouTube channel, which is connected to the blog also. It's at uh, Home PT Videos. Just look that up on YouTube and you can subscribe to that channel. Okay, very good. We're going to end this hangout right now and stop the broadcast.